got so fucked up once. Blood came out of here. Ah. Don't touch me. Ah. Now you. Oh, God. The Reaper's coming. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with Nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. Seem a bit prickly. Something bothering you? Sorry. I know I've been unbearable lately. But at my age, the menopause, what with hot flushes and violent mood swings? Dijkstra, men don't get menopause. You know that, don't you? Yes, you moron. I also know you don't actually give a shite about my problems. What do you want? You got me. Need work. Thought you might throw some my way. Monster trouble, that sort of thing. Yeah. Might be able to help me, in fact. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion. Establish what happened to him. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realise, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. So kind as to follow me. Stop that! Now! Bart! Man! Bart makes Ziggy look joyful! Beating your head against the wall won't change that! Bart! Huh! Bart! Less thinky! Bart! Less thinky! Bart! Sadless! Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it, until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfun go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you! will help me get it back.
fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Want to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole oh, no! Boom! Hole! Bad look won't go! Bad look no! Only sleep! Bad shoes paid for. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom. Big. This like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. Bad. Bad troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, through hole. Want see boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Your fun gone! Bad troll! Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonts. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men. I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that pop's antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life. Here. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Damn to lion, what the hell have you got yourself into? I just curled out. Something inside the wide open. Level two. Those drain pipes seem to converge in. It's great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Last tore it from the wall. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Shouldn't go any further than taking that antidote. <laughs> Getting harder to breathe. Damn it, can't 
Breathe. Gotta get out while I can. Witcher's potions were vile. Fine grating. Couldn't push much through that. Drowners. Of course. Dried. Dijkstra didn't mention anyone else. Must be one of Dandelion's crew. Vomit everywhere. Guess he had the antidote too. Couldn't keep it down and close the other guy. corpses. Otherwise, Drowners will never stop congregating. cylinder most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil and caramel. That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra.
got a minute? I do. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You have to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm, about as much as I'd miss a knife in me knickers. All right, you inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Interesting here. Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. Silver lid matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. Happen, drain pool four, and bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. Let's see what's on the bottom. The grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen, who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertel Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Margrave Henkel, who's that? Who was that, you mean? Old coach been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel? You saw an impersonator? Think for once! They scooped out your balls, not your brain! And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. 
Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you! Ow! Ow! What was it happened to Faltus again? Let us pray to the eternal fire. Non human buzz off!
a letter and a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions or series. Forty-five to twelve fifty-four. Hmm. Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Secret room. Probably Stain. where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Stain. Wyvern oil. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kalkstain. Sugar. And lumps of a substance dipped in Wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has Dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Expect to see you here, certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb, I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelair was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menger. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Hankel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tail you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. All right, I lied, but only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle, maidens who are half fish, but you'll never convince me there's such a thing as a half truth. I'll give it a shot anyway. Didn't actually see Ankle. But Menga does have your treasure. Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. Trade secret. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage.
Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately, though to my knowledge he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never! Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... you know. Deekstra doesn't need to know about my love life. Wise. I'd never choose his shoulder to cry on either. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm hmm Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then, and thanks. <laughs>